Hello, my name is Michelle Wood. I'm an artist printmaker. I love making things out of paper. I love making prints. I love drawing. And I'm going to show you in this short video how to make a concertina fold book. It's a very versatile kind of book. Um, artists use it to uh, present images. You could use it and uh, make a blank book for a, a, a present for somebody. Um, it is really versatile and it's very simple to make. So if you've never made a book before, um, it's one of the easiest ones you can do. So here are some ideas and inspiration to get you started. You could make some drawings or prints for the inside of your book. You could use different colours, do some paintings. These ones are monoprints with some text, some words. These ones are blank with lined paper and plain paper. You could make a book with pockets, I'll show you later, and collect papers and decorate decorative um, and coloured papers. This one is a still life drawing and you can see how I've cut away the top edge to match the drawing. So the resources you need are very simple, just printer paper, ruler, pencil, scissors and glue stick. So a concertina fold is basically a length of paper that's been folded at intervals to create pages which can then be nicely folded in to make the contents of a book. So you first need to create your pages. So we take our A4 sheet and we need to half it down the middle so that we end up with two long strips. The easiest way to do that is to fold it in half lengthways, hold the corners, fold it down, fold it down and make a really crisp fold. fold. Get your fingernail along there. So the crisper the fold, the more easily it's going to tear. So we open it up again, just support that top edge near the middle and you should just be able to tear it in half. Now, this way of making your pages, you end up with this craggledy edge, this this um, uneven edge. If you want that evened up, you can either get some scissors on it or better still is a craft knife and a um, metal ruler. So now you've got two lengths of paper. So we now need to create the folds that allow you to make that concertina. So use one piece of paper at a time, we can turn it on the edge and the first thing we need to do is create a little tab, a little tab of paper at one end to allow one piece of paper to connect with the next one. So to create a tab, if you want to just go for it, just it's about fingers width that you need. Okay, you can make a little mark with your pencil if you like. And then we're going to create a fold, fold it in. Again, make it nice and crisp, just run your nail along it. So having that tab is great because that'll help us now make our pages without the need for a ruler. And we can just do that as we go. So to make the pages, we're going to have four pages. So position it so that you've got your tab there. Just curl your paper over until it tucks inside the tab so it's just tucked inside the tab like so tuck it in press it flat right there's crease number one we're going to fold it over again again tucking it inside the tab so again we've got it tucked in like that crease number two we're now going to open it up so it doesn't look like a concertina. It's just like some random folds. To get the concertina fold, we need to do one fold up and one fold down. One fold up, one fold down. So again, the easiest way of doing that is having the paper positioned like this. Fold the first fold back on itself. That's your first fold up like that. The next one needs to go back on itself, fold it back. So you're starting to get this concertina folding up, 
folding back. The next one's okay, it's already done, but we need to get this tab to fold back. So now we have our concert first length of paper is a concertina fold like this. In my first four pages, our tab that we attach it to the next page. We need to repeat that with the second piece of paper, but the thing we need to make sure is that this tab is going to be the same on this one because these pages need to be the same width okay now if you like measuring you could get your ruler out at this point if we want to do this quick and easy version so just use that first sheet to measure up where your tab is so this gives you an indication we know it's going to be the same width so this way And that tab needs to be the same. Again, tuck it in, fold, tuck it in, fold, open it up. And because we've got an even number of pages, we know they're going to lie in the same way. So we'll fold up, we'll fold back, we'll fold up. We'll fold back. So now we have our two lengths of paper that we need to attach together to create one long concertina. So we do that by adding some glue here. So we'll just add some glue to this first tab. Sticky print stick. Line it up, so make sure that the edge of the paper is lined up with the fold. Press firmly, front and back. And there you have the concertina pages like this. At this now, point you could say, okay, I could add another length of paper here. And again and again. Or you can... If you don't want to do that and you want to lose this tab, you could just cut it off with a pair of scissors. These little pockets here and the pocket stretches all the way along. Now, very easy to make pockets for your book. It would make a slightly smaller book compared to the ones the pages we've already made because obviously you're going to use the so that would be the top you're going to use this bit at the bottom to make the pockets okay so the book would be not as high it's a little bit more square so to make the pocket again you get your length of paper and essentially just fold up little fold up like that so nice crisp fold. So there's your pocket already. So to make your pages, remember we could use the finger width to make the tab. So you do your tab up. And if you do a second run of pockets, you need to make sure your tab is the same width on the second page. Same principle of folding. And there you have your pages with pockets. You would add some glue here to stick that down and then leave that bit open. And when you add your second run of pages, obviously that will hold that pocket down. So now to make the cover of your book. And when you make books, uh, handmade books, it's always good to start from the inside. So we've made our pages first because that gives you the measurements, the dimensions for making your cover. Okay, so that's always the best way to make a handmade book, an artist's book, is to do it from the inside to the outside. When you've got A4 pages, um, again, that can give you a standard measurement. You can see these are pretty much the same size. Um, they've also got a little spine. So it's made from one, piece of paper 
or card. This is thin card, but you can make it from printer paper. So it's made from one piece. And then we've got these two lovely folds to make this spine. And it just makes your books look a little bit more polished, a bit more finished. It allows the papers to sit really nicely inside. A4 sheet. We've got our pages here, so we know we've got our measurements. Now, usually with a book cover, you need it to be slightly bigger than the book all the way around. Here are the measurements for your book cover. 11 centimetres high by 15 and a half centimetres wide and that allows for a half a centimetre spine. So we'll mark it up before we cut it. We know the book is going to sit inside there. We know it's going to have a spine, enough for a spine and we know it's going to have enough to fold round. So we've now got our book, sh the shape, the size. And then we'll just basically cut that out. And there, because we've got our lines marked, our points marked for where the spine's going to go, we can get our ruler and we can score, make those nice and crisp. Again, careful with your scissors um, just to score along that line and score along the second line. So we've got those scored. And that should allow it to just fold once, nice crisp fold, and then the second fold, open it up again, and then just push, and make that second fold. And the paper should just go, it's easier with card, but the paper should just go and fold, so you end up with this spine, like this. Now, we've now got our cover, we've now got our pages, and our last job is to stick put some glue here. Add some glue there. We're going to place that inside the cover, make sure that the spine, the Folds place where the spine is going to be, like that. Press it down both sides, and then if we open it up, we'll have our mini book finished.